Okay, everyone, I just wanted to get some people's opinions here on uh, what you think about this situation. Now, this is my knife block that I keep all of my cooking knives in, and I've become, I wouldn't say a chef, but I've become a fan of cooking and uh, figuring out different recipes and stuff like that, and I need, uh, need these knives to cook. Actually, I, I got these from a uh, storage unit auction. I bought uh, I don't know, a few boxes of them. There was there ended up being three hundred and something of the knives. I sold a bunch of them on eBay. I ended up paying off my truck uh, when I still had a loan on that, and uh, just one of the ways to make some revenue. Uh, but I kept a block with a set of knives, and we've been using them ever since. It's a good if you cook, a good set of knives is great to have. And this is actually J. A. Hinkles is. Uh, from Solingen, Germany, and they make amazing knives. And uh, that's, I've learned about those. So I've got a few that don't sit in the block that I just keep in the drawer. And I wanted to just show you all these. These are the ones that, uh, that I've used for cooking. And I want to ask which ones you think, or which one might be illegal for a felon to have? So I was told that cooking knives, chef's knives, it's no problem to have these. Um, but now that I have a felony, uh, there's certain things that you can't have, certain things that are considered weapons. And I just wanted to get everybody's opinion on which knife here you think might be considered a weapon and would put me in prison for breaking probation. All right, so check them out. Got the sharpener there. Got your cleaver next to the chef's knife. And the next one is a uh, soak. Uh, what is that one called? The next one. They use for sushi. Uh, I've got that long one next to that. So I think that's what it's called a soku. I can't remember now. You got like a long utility knife, steak knife. The next one is a bread knife. Then you have a serrated utility knife. You have your fork. Um, uh, you have a fillet knife. I'm going to serrated. Uh, long utility knife uh, this next one with the the handle I don't know what that's called my grandpa made that apparently it's custom and uh, the next one is a another utility slash bread knife uh, this next really long one that's a, a, a bread knife also just a different bread knife than that one and then so so to santoku let's see so this one is a this one is a serrated, let's see, where'd it go? Serrated, Sentoku, I can't remember, something. Japanese, you see that at the sushi place. And then you got the non-serrated one here, and then this is just a long uh, steak knife, and then this is a uh, uh, dinner steak knife. So which one should I get rid of? All right, thanks for your input.